They came from all corners of the world and all walks of life. More than 300,000 of them. This was the People's Climate March. Indigenous communities, activists, artists, students, children, united by a common goal, to halt climate change. And Sunday, they marched as one through midtown Manhattan. Asked why she was there, one marching mother summed it up. I don't know why everyone is not here. Climate change affects us all. What do we want? Climate justice! When do we want it? Now! A sentiment echoed by other members of the crowd. We need to save the planet. It's not much longer that we have for my children and grandchildren to save this thing. The march's organizers say that it's time for world leaders to protect the world that future generations will inherit. And those leaders marched too, with UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon joining forces with climate change campaigners like Al Gore and Jane Goodall to show their support for climate change action. The march comes two days before world leaders will descend on New York for a landmark climate summit at UN headquarters on the 23rd of September. The time to act, says the Secretary General, is now. Let's work together to make this planet Earth environmentally sustainable so that our succeeding generations of children, after children, will live peacefully. There is no plan B because we do not have planet B. For the United Nations, this is Alexandra King.